Proposition in Mobius Transformation Proposition If S is a Mobius Transformation, then S is the composition of translations, dilations and the inversion. Of course, some of these may be missing. That is, any Mobius map is the composition of transformations like translation, dilation and inversion. Sometimes some of them are missing and in general we can say that any Mobius map contains all these transformation, translations, dilations and inversion. So to prove this we consider two cases that is case 1 c equal to 0 that is we have the Mobius map general form s of z equal to a z plus b by c z plus d where a d minus b c not equal to 0. Consider the case c equal to 0 then the transformation becomes s of z equal to a z plus b divided by d. By sp splitting this we get a z by d plus b by d that is a by d into z plus b by d s of z equal to a by d into z plus b by d let uh, s1 of z equal to a by d into z which is a dilation dilation and s2 of z equal to the function a by d z plus b by d that can be written as a by d z equal to s1 s1 of z plus b by d we have s1 of z is a function of z so we can write as z plus b by d which is a translation which is of the format translation so if c equal to 0 then we get dilation and translation which are contained in the s of z and we can write s2 composition s1 equal to s of z we get s2 composition s1 equal to the mobius map s of z that is if c equal to 0 we can write the mobius map s of z as the composition of s1 and s2 where s1 is dilation s2 is translation so in this case mobius transformation contains two transformations like one is translation and other is dilation next way case we have case 2 c not equal to 0 then s of z equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d then dividing the numerator and denominator by c we get a by c into z plus b by c divided by z plus d by c now a by c into z plus we are adding a term d by c and subtracting the term d by c plus b by c divided by z plus d by c and by multiplying and rearranging we get a by c into z plus d by c minus e term first two terms a by c into z plus d by c minus a d by c square and a d by c square plus b by c plus b by c whole divided by z plus d by c now dividing into two factors we get a by c plus minus a d by c square plus b by c divided by z plus d by c so here we take c square as the common denominator we get a by c plus minus a d plus b c 
divided by c square whole divided by z plus d by c. This is s of z. So a by c plus minus a d plus b c you can change into the reverse order plus b c minus a d divided by c square into z plus d by c ok that is s of z s of z we get s of z equal to a by c plus b c minus a d divided by c square into z plus d by c now take s1 of z equal to this portion z plus d by c which is a translation translation and second one s2 of z equal to 1 by 1 by z plus d by c also you get we take this as 1 by z plus d by c that's equal to 1 by s1 and we have s1 is a function of z so we can take it as 1 by z which is inversion inversion next we take s3 of z equal to this portion bc minus ad by c square into z plus d by c bc minus ad by c square into z plus d by c that can be written as bc minus ad by c square into 1 by z plus d by c means it is s2 and s2 is a function of z therefore bc minus ad by c square into z which is a dilation and one more s4 of z equal the whole function a by c plus bc minus ad divided by c square into z plus d by c that is equal to a by c plus this is s3 and s3 is a function of z so we get a, a by c plus z a by c plus z is a translation translation and we can write s4 composition s3 composition s2 composition s1 equal to s that is the bilinear transformation or the mobius map s can be represented as the composition of s1 s2 s3 s4 where s1 is a translation s2 is an inversion and s3 is a dilation and s4 is again translation that is this theorem said that any bilinear transformation or any mobius map can be represented as a composition of translation dilation inversion etc that is a theorem general i to bar another mobius map namukku translation day dilation day inversion day composition map i to it is an but to ella e moon and numara chalapo adil e dengil ok miss i po and the alum even number of composition a kere than but to in the bar under the e do bilinear transformation namukku adil e dengilum randanum the e rand a lingil nalia order lana boa po aditel namukku randan nan ut the other rand transformations in the combination of kit and the other nal transformation the combination of kere the other volor even numbers now we move into another definition that is the fixed point fixed point of a mobius map fixed point means in general for any function f of z a fixed point means that is a point which coincides with the function that is 
a point z is a fixed point if f of z equal to z or z um adinde oru point um oru adinde image um coincide cheyna points ne aanu angane ulla points ne aanu fixed points ennu parayunnathu so in the case of a mobius map s of z equal to a z plus b by c z plus d where ad minus bc not equal to zero a fixed point means s of z equal to z ee equation satisfy cheyna ella points ne nammal fixed points gal nu parayum that is a z plus b divided by c z plus d equal to z where ad minus bc not equal to zero by cross multiplying we get c z square plus d z equal to a z plus b that implies c z square plus d z minus a z minus b equal to zero that implies we get c z square plus d minus a minus a d ala minus a z d minus a into z minus b equal to zero which is a quadratic equation if c not equal to zero so if c not equal to zero it is a quadratic equation we know that a quadratic equation has at most two solutions so if c not equal to zero a mobius map has at most two fixed points if we consider the identity map w equal to z or s of z equal to w equal to z for the identity map every point is a fixed point that is s of z equal to z that is the identity map we take s of 1 equal to 1 s of 2 equal to 2 s of 3 equal to 3 etc for identity map so in the case of identity map every point is a fixed point any map any mobius map other than identity map has at most two fixed points because we get a quadratic equation in that case now if we consider an example that is consider a function s of z equal to some point 3z plus 2 divided by z plus 2 here ad minus bc equal to 3 into 6 minus 2 into 1 that's equal to 4 that's not equal to 0 therefore it is a bilinear transformation or mobius map for the fixed point we take s of z equal to z that implies 3z plus 2 divided by z plus 2 equal to z by cross multiplying we get 3z plus 2 equal to z square plus 2z that implies z square plus 2z minus 3z minus 2 equal to 0 that implies z square minus z minus 2 equal to 0 z square minus z minus 2 equal to 0 we have to solve this equation we get z Minus two into z plus one equal to zero. Z minus one into z plus one. Z minus two into z plus one equal to zero. So z equal to minus one comma two. These are the fixed point for the transformation three z plus two divided by z plus two. Okay. Now we have a definition. Another definition that is if we consider. four points four distinct points z1 z2 z3 and z4 in the extended complex plane c infinity and a mobius map s of z equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d where ad minus bc not equal to 0 and such that this mobius map has the property such that s of z2 equal to 1 s of z3 equal to 0 and s of z4 equal to infinity that is second point in one ilekku map cheyunu third point in zero ilekku map cheyunu fourth point in infinity ilekku map cheyunu such a map is s of z then 
द फर्स्ट पॉइंट हैज द इमेज एस ऑफ जेड वन एंड दिस इमेज एस ऑफ जेड वन इज नॉन एस क्रॉस रेशियो ऑफ क्रॉस रेशियो ऑफ जेड वन जेड टू जेड थ्री एंड जेड फोर एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाई जेड वन जेड टू जेड थ्री जेड फोर इट इज रीड एस क्रॉस रेशियो ऑफ जेड वन जेड टू जेड थ्री जेड फोर दैट मीन्स द क्रॉस रेशियो ऑफ फोर डिस्टिंक्ट पॉइंट्स द डिस्टिंक्ट पॉइंट्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द पॉइंट शुड बी डिस्टिंक्ट ओनली दैट केस द क्रॉस रेशियो इज एक्सिस्ट सो इफ वी कंसिडर फोर डिस्टिंक्ट पॉइंट्स सेट वन सेट टू सेट थ्री एंड सेट फोर सच दैट दे आर एक्सिस्ट ए बै लीनियर मैप दे आर एक्सिस्ट ए यूनिक मोबियस मैप एस सच दैट एस ऑफ जेड टू ईक्वल टू वन एस ऑफ जेड थ्री ईक्वल टू जीरो and s of z4 equal to infinity then under this bilinear map the image of the first element is called the cross ratio of four points z1 z2 z3 and z4 and it is denoted by a single bracket z1 z2 z3 z4 separated by comma 